welcome back guys to Tales of Exilia, reaching the Sea Haven. We've got ourselves our first side quest, or you could consider it a main quest, as Alvin wants us to get some money to be able to afford his services, our newest party member. So we head out with all the new learned link strategies as well. Lots of stuff to get used to. And so we head out into the big wide world. Let's go with Alvin chasing me down. We beat down everyone. Are you okay with that one over there? Because we're just hacking away at this wolf guy. Yeah, I've got to go. And with Miller's new sword play going on, I've got to get used to her. All in the line of duty. Naturally. Or I'll have you fired. Whoa, hey now. Just keeps getting better. With Alvin leveling up, I think we'll wait for everyone to get a level up before we go into Lilium Orb or anything. But let's check around for treasure and stuff like that. Nothing hidden in these trees. This whole Link to Art system is going to be fairly complicated to start, I'm sure. There's a bag hidden in the grass, though. Bags all around, in fact. Which way are we heading? Wild grass seeds? We'll have some of those. Hello, sir. Let's take you on. Taking out one, no problem. I think I might need to get myself some HP or something like that as my next upgrade, because at the moment it seems defensively I'm lacking. We're flying up in the air at all times. Let's see if we can get ourselves some more Link Tarts working. Now, of course, you don't have anyone to Link as. Do you, are you sure you don't want me to give you Alvin? No, no, I think I'll let you take the pressure of figuring it all out. Oh, lovely, thank you. <laughs> no to be honest, considering I'm some kind of hybrid caster, it seems to me to make it. Oh, well, I thought you. Did someone come up to behind me and back attack me, and Alvin didn't help me at all. What's with that, Alvin? I thought that was your job! Build up that bar a bit more. Doesn't look like we're that far off. Being able to use another Link to Art. The fireball finishes it. I hope I'm not using too much TP. No, my TP's fine. So we're doing pretty well in generally managing our TP as well as using abilities. It seems we can just use them at any point in time. Let's grab this bag. No, oh, wait, wait, sir. You're not getting me for some more jet black feathers. Okay. They seem like an important item, because even they're key items, but we keep just finding them everywhere as well. Beam up. Thanks for the healing, by the way. It's okay. Someone's got to keep you alive. Yes. <laughs> My low HP. I'm the lowest HP value at the moment of anyone. Well done. Still do better. I'm sure you can, Becca. It seems like the game's like... I actually joined in with the game then. I didn't actually read that. Oh no, I feel like a bad man. I won't punish you on film, it's fine. Okay then. <laughs> we'll take the stretch just for more apple gels. We don't seem to have any use for them at the moment, but which way are we really headed? Let's bring open the map and see... Well doesn't exactly tell us which way to go. we got an elevation thing that we can change on the map as well. Hmm. Defeat the fret by the western lake of Aladi Trail. So western would be to the left. Though there is something shining on the rock over there. Hello, sir. It seems our gauge constantly go. keeps resetting down. And no link cards can be used there. We're feeding him without an issue. Let's get away. Here we go. Going up in the air and doing some more fireballs. Ow! That guy got some time to attack us from distance, didn't he? Well done, Alvin. All in the line of duty. Naturally. We're just beating them up no matter what. Whoa, hey now. Okay, we're learning some stuff. Normal attack and art chains. Whenever you use an art after a normal attack, your link partner will help pay the TP cost of the art. When you use a normal attack after an art, your link partner will share the TP recovery effect from the normal attack. Therefore, by alternating between normal attacks and arts in your combos, you can spend your TP more effectively. Us? An interesting change. Normally before, it's just been straight use of TP, or if Grace's F was just straight use of CC, more wildgrass seeds. And you generated by just attacking in general? But now we can generate in multiple ways, including taunting. Here we go. Let's change target here, so we're split up a little bit more. Maybe I should drop the link and let Alvin act on his own a little bit more. So, seeing there's three opponents, he might go off on Facebook. But this might be a thing that we have to modify in the strategy list. If we want to get working. 
And that's a nice time to heal, wasn't it, really? You're picking your moments. I'm getting the hang of it. Everyone's close together and you're getting the heal right on. We're pretty close together most of the time, to be honest, because we all end up bashing the same target. Yeah, I should try to cast more spells, really, like proper big spells. Like that. I'm pretty sure I can cast it from any range then. Here we go. Let me join in. Last hit, I got it. And we both leveled up, which means it's time to check out our Lilium Orbs yet again. For three more level ups, or at least three more stat nodes. Now, what are we going for here? Okay, press select to use auto level. Auto level will take you along suggested routes, activating nodes along the way. It is a useful function when you have a lot of GP, but once spent, that GP cannot be reassigned. If there are specific arts or skills you want, take care when using this feature. Well, certain skills or arts I want, like for example, it seems to be in the same position. The TP combo support seems pretty good. You've got it, I haven't. But most importantly, I think I need some HP anyway at the moment. So I'm gonna head up this pathway. Get ourselves some, myself some physical defense and some HP, which will get me another art by the look of it. Learn the following art splash. <laughs> um, Magic cut move. What? what? <laughs> Magic cut. <can't>... <laughs> yes, I'll just flail. It'll be fine. There's some more general HP and defense, and we got uh, myself the TP combo support as well. So that's good for me. What about you? Where do you want to go? Uh, let's go down the bottom and finish it off. Finish it off? Mm -hmm. For TP. Vitality 15, which gets you long steps, so your steps are even longer distance now, but where, where do you want to go next? Maybe for this really nice one or something? Go on then. Some SP for some skill points. We could head along this away, and we got Alvin to level as well. We could go for auto level for Alvin. Yeah, it will save time. Opposed to, and just level up our main cell, so activate nodes along this route. Is those the ones that you choose? Well, we'll just let it go. And do what it wants. So, however, we did get some more skills here, so let's set them as well. You can use SP to set skills you've learned. Skills are divided into three categories based on their effects, parameter, action, and support. Stronger skills require more SP. Feel free to set them any way you like. Well, at the moment, we've got 10 SP. Oh, I thought we had loads before. Skills marked with a shaking hands, is that? Will affect link partners as well. Set the right skills, and they will have dramatic effects when characters are linked. Open the menu during battle and press R1 to view your current set skills. Well, that's cool. I think... Oh, I don't actually have enough SP to get everything. We got... Decreases damage by 50% when guarding is pretty good. TP combo support is good. Momentary gain is good. So maybe I'll just take the two big ones for now. And save it for later. You've got enough space with TP combo support and long step. You've got loads of skill points because of how the leveling's gone. And so does he. Oh no, I just took off magic guard from him. So we'll have those on you as well. So even more stuff, even more abilities. I've got a little bit more HP, don't feel as weak. Or at least a little bit stronger. And quite 200 gold! Let's keep heading to the west, even though there's monsters in our path everywhere at the moment. And it seems you've got the link going. Okay. Yes, you've got the link with Alvin. So I think it's Demon Fang for you to use link abilities. If we can ever actually generate the link abilities as a whole. So I can fire a big long wind lance as well. Maybe I should think more about letting you guys line them up and then nuke them with stuff like wind lance. Opposed to just coming and rushing in all the time for melee. But mind you, of course, performing combos lowers the TP costs. And, well, that's a good thing. I'm sure we'll hit our groove when we get stuck into it. It's all about learning the battle system now. So here's the west branch, so we should be heading the right way. We're just looking for a body of water to go with it. Loads of enemies, loads of treasure chests and sacks. I'll change target and go for someone else. Oh, that was a bad spell casting period by me there. Blow you up. Oh, you're still not defeated, sir? Oh, we're done already? Isn't that good? I wasn't done playing around. You're such a bully. This is such a bully. You guys kind of finished up those two quite fast. It seems that links work really well in conjunction to just destroy enemies nice and quick. So which way are we heading for water? I'd say possibly down this way. So there's a thinking treasure chest to my left. No breaks. 
Or our left. How dare you be blocking! I'll nuke him from a distance and then I'll take care of this one. Between us, we'll just knock them all down. Hopefully, I'm not using too much TP. I'm always worried about that, but no, linking fundamentals free. When linked, partners work together to surround their foes and guard each other's backs from enemy attacks. Because of this, having a partner makes it easier to land critical hits and provides some protection against enemy critical hits. So it's probably best, seeming you're a mainly melee character, to be linked with Alvin. And I'm probably you're best to be linked to look with another caster. Good with that blade. Hmm. I do seem to possess an aptitude for sword fighting. An aptitude for sword fighting. It didn't look like that straight away, but you did get quite good quite fast. Weird fragment. Here we have a wonderful piece of uh, something. What is this supposed to be anyway? But points 50? I want to know what those points are for. I really do. Dale well, Winton would have us believe it has something to do with prizes. Doesn't seem there's encounter links in this game because I was expect wondering if something like the Tell of Asparagus sort of encounter link kick in there. Okay, we're a bit surrounded here. Out of my way, sir. I'll knock you away as I see fit. You can have your attack. <laughs> were you and Alvin just juggling them? Actually, I don't know what I was doing for part of that fight. I was just punching thin air a lot of the time. It just seemed like you two when I looked over. Oh, there we go. You were just knocking them back and forth between each other. So I really should be looking to use a TP ability on my third strike. But mind you, if I do that quite often, I use a lot of my TP up. Skills transference. Skills that are marked with a handshake share their effect with your character's link partner. These are called link skills. By prioritizing these when selecting your character's skills, your characters can gain a variety of powerful effects when linked. Just keeps getting better. I wonder if this is kind of a thing along the lines of, say, for example, you can't get all skills for yourself, but you just make sure to link up properly and make sure people have crossing skills. So you can get- Oh, don't you dare get me from behind! Enemies everywhere at the moment, but this is what happens when you get to the open part of, uh, of the open terrain here. No breaks. And I did get the second one as well, that was quite a good shot for once. Man, are we good or what? Um, yeah. Ouch, the cold shoulder. Well, we're getting experience quite fast, so hopefully we'll level up again pretty soon. Beast dung, stuck to a wall, lovely. Well, it does look like those telled fiends can get their tells up pretty high, but I'm not sure it worrying about where exactly their rear entry is, if they can get it that high. It's quite possible they just had a build up of pressure that allowed it to become a projectile. I'm more a bit worried that I said rear entry rather than exit. I guess it's a sword you, so you've got to look for weak points. Don't you dare attack me. Oh, your quick attacks just mince them up a bit, don't they? Already. Yes, I think I've become Sophie from Tales of Graces again. You're very much zipping around and quick combos to just smash people. But I think we found the monsters that we're after. Oh, treasure! <laughs> Other treasures are in our way, first of all. Ow! Definitely seems if I charge up, we do a lot better in the way of damage with my spells. Well actually no, they seem to be quite fine either way. I guess it's the same TP cost. It's just a difference between range or not. I leveled up as well. But you haven't just yet. I don't need levels. He's just buzzing around <laughs> defeating everyone. Won't even let me get the sack. There. Those must be the monsters we're supposed to get rid of. Indeed. They certainly don't look like the normal fauna for this area. Alright, let's get the job done. It's taking us a while to reach it. A tutorial explains the controls we're given during this battle. More controls? More? How many controls can there be? Fight while linked and completely fill the linked arts gauge. Okay. That'd be more for you, wouldn't it? Okay. 
Once you have filled all five segments of linked arts gauge, use a linked art to go into overlimit. So Demon Fist for you would be the one that goes into it, then it's the R2 button. Here we go. Use a linked art to go into overlimit. Chain chance there as well, what's that? While in overlimit, your AC number will not drop and enemy attacks will not stagger you. What's more, you can use as many linked arts as you want. Get going! You're just messing them all up, are you? Well, I'll just get in there and hopefully do a little bit of mincing as well, but... Wow, that, that went fast. You kind of destroyed them in no time. I used the majority of my TP as well, though. It's fine. Completely destroyed them in two seconds. And now we have full level ups for the party. You okay? I can't complain. No better training than an actual battle. You got that right. Let's head back to Alati Sea Haven and make a report. I was wondering if it would take us straight away there, but no. Treasure chest for us to pick up acquires some boots. Increases Agi and P defense. Physical defense. Maybe we should put that on you then, considering you'll seem to be a somewhat agility character, or at least agility based. Yeah, fine by me. Get yourself some nice fast moving around. We got some more Lilium Orb levels to do. No more tutorials this time though. Should I go up here maybe and get myself some extra TP? So maybe head around this route as well and get myself some skill points while I'm at it. So I can equip my other skill. Make sure I'm nice and able to keep doing things. We've got Wind Guard. Okay, that's a different one than you got. So what does that do? Increases resistance to wind by 30%. That's a nice status upgrading thing. As permanent stats go, resistances will come in handy. That's me done, and now you. So which way would you like to go? Would you like to surround this? Yep. Go for steel. When you're getting some agi as well, affects movement speed strongly and physical attack and physical defense slightly. In fact, the outer edge seems to have the largest stat gains. So it seems to be pretty good, to be honest. It'll be interesting to see how Alvin differs, because his auto has sent him round the middle. And now, where to from here? Um. More HP? Across to, what is this? Dexterity. It affects the chance of getting critical hits. Yeah, let's take the outer edge and see if it's a bit of an exploit. Let's scout the outer edge indeed. R1, Alvin! Where are we going with you? Auto level up, of course. Learn new abilities, and even more skills to equip. Alright, so I get Wind Guard, and Solid Guard I can put on as well. Increase resistance to wind by 30% seems pretty powerful overall. And you also got Assault, sir, which increases max AC by 1, so I would like that on top of everything. There's so many nice little abilities to pick up already, and just getting to them all. That's going to be another story. We want so much right now. The only way you can get it is just by continuous fighting. No little bits of dung stuck to any walls. Don't worry, honey, we'll find you some dung later. Some more poo. Hooray. I keep also, um, every time we talk about conserving TP, it feels like we're desperate to reserve our toilet paper supplies. What, for all the dung <laughs> so we can get it off the walls? Every time I hear In a nice it. cleanly fashion. Well, there's one little more treasure glinting over there. Let's grab that on our way back. Oh, I think going for an AC, AC upgrade would be brilliant right now, actually. No joke. It seems they've got a weakness to win, by the way. If I had to say anything, double wind blade there. Knocked him back. I do like having a little bit more HP. Let's grab that. More jet black feathers. They're everywhere. For a key item, they're just... Well... Sounds a bit stupid to say, considering exactly what they are, but they're lying around everywhere. So is this our pathway back? It is indeed. So many monsters in our path, though, and it's not like we can skirt them that easily, it seems. They seem pretty fast. Maybe we can get something that... Maybe they'll run away over time when they get scared of them or something. Take the fireball. It seems if we knock them down, all Link Tart's ready to be used, it seems. We'll just defeat uh, it out of hand. Um, yeah. Ouch, the cold sh And head back from whence we came. So long to travel. 
so long to travel. Let's get back to the city outer limits. Uh, is there any more treasure chests or anything around? No? Let's see if we can dodge a few enemies. Let's see if they just come at us from range. Those ones don't seem at all that nippy. But if they come at us from behind, I'm just gonna have to like... Oh, I ran pretty much into that one. The camera angles are something I've got to get used to as well. Wing tops ready to be used. Go Bex! No problem defeating that one. Far too easy. And we're just mowing for our opponents with no problem whatsoever. A couple of level ups done, our first side quest completed. And the save point in sight, so we'll bid you farewell for this episode, guys. So we head back to city, we head back to town, and kind of pay the man, pay Alvin his mercenary fee. So join us next time for more Tales of Exilia. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.